We're at Logan Airport right now. We're about to be boarding our flight to Seattle and I'm taking some video footage now. Jenna, say hi. Jenna's, <laughs> Jenna's on a high mood right now. Oh, hang there's hang everyone hang else. Hang. We're getting on the flight now. We kind of kind of got to the gate right as boarding was starting, which is a little tighter than we like to. So some, some tensions are high, but we're about to get on our flight to Seattle. So stay tuned. Wow. Oh my god, that's the Prudential Center. Oh my god, that's the garden. Oh my god, that's Logan Airport and that's Jenna. Oh my god. Hi. I've no, I don't look at it. You're not job ready? Oh, one's taking off over there. That's so fun. Alrighty, we're getting on the plane now. We'll see you guys in Seattle. Alright, so we have officially arrived at our Airbnb in Seattle. Uh, unfortunately, like all good travel stories, it didn't come without a few hiccups. We lost our one checked bag that we had, which happened to have all four pairs of our skates in it and two jerseys for the game that we plan on going to later this week. So we spent the last hour and a half or so in the airport trying to remedy that with uh, the airport itself, with Delta and with a uh, police officer. So we're gonna be putting a claim in for that in a little while, um, but that's you know obviously not the best thing to happen. Looks like it probably was stolen. Looks like it got to Seattle and someone pulled it off the uh, baggage claim before we could get to it. But anyway, on a happier note, this is our Airbnb. Inside. A little townhouse right near, was it Seattle University? Seattle U. It's not too much on the first floor. I mean, it's a nice little kitchen area. Got a big ass TV though, that's nice. It's very modern, recently built. Goes pretty much all the way up. Second floor room, oh, bathroom. Like our father will probably be staying in this room. You guys have your own bathroom there? Uh, we have our own bathroom, yeah. Hi, Jenna. Oh, geez, I'm so sorry. That wall just comes up on you so fast. Washer dryer, nice touch. Always nice to be able to do laundry before you head home. This is the second room. Closet and the bathroom. Ooh. Nice shower, I didn't even see this myself yet. Very neat. And we probably won't use this feature that much, but it is something worth noting. Love the windows as we travel up. Brings a lot of light into the space. Whew, three flights of stairs. There's a rooftop, lounge, balcony, whatnot. Um, obviously pretty covered up, it's not summer. It's February, but the view is still incredible. Really cool, plane overhead to see the whole city. And uh, it's warmer than it is in Rhode Island in New England right now, so that's worth it. And it's tolerable to be out here. It's in the 40s. You know, we left, it was probably low 20s in New England. So this is a welcome change. It's not Florida, but it's nice and we're gonna enjoy ourselves, but right now I think we gotta get some food, figure out the rest of our night as we're tired. It's only about 5 p.m. local, but that's, you know, 8 p.m. where we are from. So, we're gonna be tired, we're gonna go to bed, and we're probably gonna start the rest of our adventure tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'm using my Memoji for the first time. Ooh, figure the grill out yet? This is where we're cooking our dinner. You are really <laughs> filming me in that. Right next to the TV. I wish you had started sooner. Yeah, you've been farting around with that and the foliage behind the grill for the last oh, 10 minutes. Oh, I've got freaking situated, right? But I've got cause there fire. gas in the- There's gas in the tank. Oh, this is a mess. This is the first footage from day two, by the way. The igniter hasn't been- Watching the Bruins. <sighs> we're already going to the third period and it's only noon time right now because they're playing in Boston. Where are we going after this show? I think Pike's- you know our itinerary. Pike's Peak. Pike's something. All right, can we have the audio? This we're going to Pike's back. Place Market in a minute, but I know this is an important. The angry old man needs to watch the game, so we're gonna do that first. Big game for the Bruins right here, playing against the big boys. Hey Jenna, do you want to do some vlogging? Yeah. Look where we are. We're by the Seattle waterfront. The old curiosity shop. Oh, right next to Meat Pie. We got the. Boy, oh, that's a hell of a boy, sound. Boy, am I curious. 
Premier meat pies. Got the Ferris wheel over there. It's actually a relatively only partially cloudy day. No rain or anything. It's cold, but. We're gonna see where we go to in that. High five! What's. You just say dope? Yeah. So hip. <laughs> this wind is gonna screw up the audio, I can already tell, but um, yeah, this is where we are right now. Yeah, sure. Okay, here we are. There's a bunch of Seattle merch here. Jeremy had to get asked to put his mask on because Oh he's my an god. Idiot. I just didn't we were walking down the street. I didn't think that when I walked in this door that's wide open anyway. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I already got my merch release, on. The release the Kraken. I already got my merch on. <laughs> All right, we're on the Seattle Great Wheel. Dang, dang. Dad's freaking out a little bit because they're too high in the air for him, I guess. People are taking their babies on this thing. Yeah, there are really little okay. babies on this. So oh my God. Act like a weedy. We we'll just don't shift around. Look at, oh, this is good. We're getting right to the top now. Yeah. We got the, the whole needle. the whole Puget Sound. The Space Needle in the distance over there. Oh, Very lit, cool. Lit, lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's very windy out, so the water has a bunch of they're white caps. Is that what they call them, right? Yep. Me out a little bit, all like so it's pretty yeah. cool up here. And yeah, for anyone who says it's gonna be gross and overcast and rainy in Seattle, guess what? It's gorgeous again. Vassals. I've been here three times now, and it's been sunny every single time. So everyone stop talking about Seattle. Probably never even been. You're talking smack about it. So anyway, super fun. I'm gonna enjoy our ride. We're at an antique shop, if that wasn't clear. All sorts of cool stuff in here, including big luggage. For $2.25 apparently. Super cool little place. And apparently they ship everywhere in the US. So that's good. Oh, that is cool. It's $100. That's so beautiful. Here. Well, this, is, this mirror is sold, huh? Oh, it is? Yeah. Damn, I actually really liked it. Not that we were really. I wonder how much it's sold for. I know. Wish we knew. It's pretty cool, though. It is one of the coolest things I've seen in here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Probably why it's sold. I would love it. <laughs> Well, next stop is food, I think. Pike's Place Market for some sandwiches, which is gonna be cool. So stay tuned to that. There we go. Just grabbed us a seat for lunch. Once again, they let you believe that they were so busy that they couldn't afford it. No, they just don't want to. I'm perfectly happy with this setup. Yeah. You can kind of catch the ferry coming in from, I'm assuming, his Bainbridge Island in the distance. Got some shipping area down there. Not a bad spot for lunch, huh? Jeremy, you want to sit with Jenna next to Jenna? Or you want to I don't know. I kind of I shoved myself in this corner. Just kind of awkwardly by the stairs because I wanted to just be the person that did that. Okay. So you know, convenience you guys. Yeah, Jenna and I. Cool. Jenna and I spend plenty of time close to each other. I'm sure she can. Still All right. In the sun. Obligatory round the table for the food because we didn't do this last night. Oh, those look bussing. Oh, those look real bussing, bussing. Oof. Phone, eats. phone is going to have phone, to eat first phone, in this situation. And go, phone and GoPro are eating first today. Oof, ready to dive into this. You get that first bite. You get a little lemon in here. Oh my. It's called get art. A lemon on that. I don't know what she's doing. She's got art. That's how the sausage is made over there. Can I get my whole hand on this, you think? I think you need to get your whole mouth around that thing and just chow down on that thing. Like, no tomorrow. Oh, we have hope. This is really mm -hmm. The beans. There we go. And with that view for lunch, 
so How can you not love that? These tortillas look absolutely incredible. Was that it? Oh my god, I suck. All right, they were just throwing the fish, but if you haven't seen that from us before, we always... I think I've recorded them throwing this fish on three different occasions before, so I'm not too mad I missed it, but this is the place where they do it. Where? Yeah. yeah, Dad's about to catch a fish in the face over there. Two he, shooters ring it! Two shooters he's, ring it! He's looking for actual food for us to eat right now. And uh, none of these markets are cutting it for him. Where is he? He's right, right there. Alrighty. You know where we are now. If anyone knows this area, you know what we're about to see next. A gum wall, baby. Oh, and there's a coal ass car coming down here. Yummy, it smells minty fresh. John, are you gonna add to it? No, you don't have one. No, I don't have my gum anymore. This is so gnarly, especially during COVID. Oh yeah. Just imagine how much COVID. Jenna, can I get you can I get can I get you posting up on this right now? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Don't lean on it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like everywhere. Everywhere. All the way down. Both sides. Ugh. One of the nastier attractions of this whole country, I'm guessing. Let's get right in there. Let's get right in there. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy. I like. Even just look at the ground. Some people really. Hey John, I'll give you like a dollar to flick one of those danglers. I am not flicking the dangler. You're gonna flick a dangler? No. I got plenty of dollars. How you're gonna, much would you, gonna how flick much a dangler? You, how much would you pay me? Um, yeah. For you, babe, too. I'm low on <laughs> cash. Literally, I feel like I have 17 pieces of gum stuck to my shoes. So. <laughs> Maybe we should. Oh my god. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a dangler, dude. Oh my god. Oh, yummy! Oh, dude, that's like, that can't be one piece, is it? Can you get Bruh. Uh, bruh. Wild stuff, man. Not a bad view. Ow. <laughs> we're, the, we're, the, we're the worst at vlogging. <laughs> Truly the worst. It's all right. Everyone loves it. Well, I, I love it at least. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we are currently at the eight. Yes. The intro? <laughs> <laughs> we're currently at the Angry Beaver in Seattle. I think it's in Seattle. Yeah. And no, we're actually in Greenwood, I think. I hadn't updated from here at all. <laughs> But they claim to be the number one hockey bar in Seattle, which I mean, I can't really dispute that. Look at this. Seattle's original. Original hockey bar? Yeah. We're having a great time. We got some poutine here, four different, three different flavors, some very hot Korean barbecue wings. We're having a great time. Tie game, 1 1. Who we got tonight? Who's my name? Um, go Kraken. <laughs> Go Kraken, baby. All right, so the Kraken are gonna win, even though they got scored on. They got scored on 11 seconds into this game, but they came back quick. So, all right, this is how our night's gonna go, celebrating hockey in Seattle. We're back for day. Th this is day three, huh? And we're going to Bainbridge Island, and we're currently. I don't know why I'm a little bit of a southern accent right now. Loading onto the ferry, driving the car right on there. We're gonna take it on the island. I think that's how most people are operating today. Actually, got some snow in Seattle, which you're going to see on the tops of some of these buildings, I think. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe we'll see more on the island. There's the ferry. There's some oh, there snow. Yeah, yeah, right on the side of the way. You can see that. This is the Ferris wheel we won oh, yesterday. The snow is not... And oh my god, this is a big ass space below this thing. They just load them all up, huh? Going right. Yep, we're on the ferry now. So it's pretty cool.
Where are we at? Casa Rojas on Bainbridge Island. It's the QR code if you want to check the menu out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we went to, so we went to, uh, forty minute ferry ride to have Mexican thirty five. We're gonna do other things too. You'll yeah. see that as well. We're gonna get ice cream, I think. It seems and like the entire trip was revolving around food meal. <laughs> well, that one definitely didn't get caught on camera, oh, did it? Bro. But yes, we'll stay. We'll, this is our first thing that we did here, so we'll do some walking around, and get some food, and see the sights. But get some walking around, get some more food. It smells some delicious. Yeah. All right, stay tuned. Bye bye. We're at Cups. We, <laughs> we, went, we went to the Eagle Harbor Bookstore. What company? Got books. I got this, I got this book. That's the book I bought. I think it's very culturally, culturally relevant. It's relevant to where we are right now. Jenna, show me your haul. I got Little Women, which is a classic, and then I had to get another Colleen Hoover book, so I'm obsessed with her. Jenna loves, Jenna loves her Colleen Hoover. Uh, and we got um, a nice postcard for Danny and Donna, who gave us, Donna's from Bainbridge, and she gave us a lot of recommendations yes. when we came here. So we got yep, we're taking care of all of all, some buying things, and we're supporting a local bookstore. We are at a local coffee shop on Bainbridge. Uh, the sun, it has been out for a while now. Looks like there's some few clouds rolling in, but we're gonna continue to explore. And uh, here's my hot vanilla chai. So we're at Mora Ice Creamery, which was a recommendation from our dearest friends, Danny and Donna, uh, that we uh, must try this. And despite the fact that we ate lunch only maybe an hour ago, we are here. We have 10 minutes till 2.22. Okay, so you need to record me trying this for the first time. Okay, which one did you I get? I want my authentic reaction. Yeah, what, so which one did you I get? I the PA flavored, which, you know, Buenos Aires, uh, is the Dulce de Leche. In oh, is that what it stands for? Mm-hmm. Oh. In infused with Dulce de Leche. Well, come over here, the lighting is better. So just like ultra, it's like ultra Dulce de Leche is what my idea of this is. Yeah, and we it's got Morris first, right in the background. This first, is going to be a great video. First taste. Yeah, I don't think I've had Dulce de Leche since I was in Argentina. How is it? Which is, it's, it's, it's bringing back memories. That's what it's doing. John? It's good. good. I, got I should say it's good. Mint. Ooh. Other John? So I've got a Bora Espresso with Bob's Peppermint. Ah, silky. Yeah, he put an espresso on top of ice cream. Is that what you did? That's exactly what I did. Is it good? It's, yeah. It's, uh, slamming. I I had no room left yeah. for it, but I will try we a bite. We went from lunch to coffee shop to this. So much for our exercise day. We've this been walking around. Oh, day. that's a bussin. It's a bussin. Bussin, <laughs> bussin, bussin. Mm. That's good. So now we're going to get in the car. Drive see around. See some sites that are not in the downtown area. And it's sunny. Yeah, kind of. Par partly sunny. So. It's a good day so far. Thanks, Moras. Thanks, Danny and Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the Bainbridge Island Japanese American uh, Exclusion Camp Memorial, where over 200 Japanese Americans or Japanese people, two thirds of which were American citizens, were forcibly, re forcibly removed from their homes uh, during World War II after J Japan's uh, bombing of Pearl Harbor. You know, don't love filming at memorials, but I feel like this is something that should be included as part of our trip because it's uh, worthy of acknowledgement. And a lot of people don't know of this history or know only very little of this history. So I think including it is important. Um, and it's a pretty incredible memorial. It goes all the way down that way as well. It starts up here. All sorts of tidbits uh, of the history of this place and the people who suffered uh, because of this uh, action by the US government, so pretty interesting for sure. And definitely recommend coming here if you're in the area.
got cooking in the kitchen over here. It's Tuesday night, back from Bainbridge Island. Jenna and father are cooking in the kitchen. What are we making, Jenna? Some shrimp. Kebabs. Kebabs, skewers. We got asparagus here. Some shrimps in here. Peppers. Hockey on the TV. So Dano Chars, uh, record tying. 16 something game, most games played by an NHL defenseman. The Islanders playing Seattle. It's Seattle right now. We tried to get last minute tickets. It did not happen. Some baby fingerling potatoes, baby. right? Tossed with rosemary and um, parsley. Lovely. Baby fingerlings. John's just uh, waiting for his dinner to be made, as am I. Don't go out of your way to do anything to help, Jeremy. Just I won't. I'm just going to make sure I record yeah. the entire experience and not help. Too many cooks in the kitchen, in particularly this yeah, kitchen, would yeah. not be a good thing. So. One too many. <laughs> All right, I don't think recycle? they want me around, so I'm gonna stop this now. What? Is this recycle? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see how long we're gonna go with that. Did you get that the yeah, well, the whole point of this is I wanna get Dad and his grilling. So, this is what they were working with at this Airbnb. There's just a little patio here with a grill on it, and he's right outside the door, which. City living with home cooks. City living with home cooked meals, yeah. So I mean, it looks really good out there. He's doing a great job. Jenna put those skewers together, and uh, soon enough we're gonna be eating. I mean, this is a setup. Look at this table with the game here. I mean, we're not at the game, but this is arguably almost better. We're gonna be at the game on Thursday. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So you know, we're getting our game in, but and the Kraken are getting their butts kicked anyway by a team that's not this good this season. Oh my God! And look at as I say it. They get scored on, so, you know, kind of fitting. Olivia God, was right. it's brutal out brutal here. here. <laughs> John and I, 24-7, on the same wavelength. Same yeah. wavelength. Well, that's just that vacation vibe or something. That's how we both put up with Jeremy so well. Oh, yeah, well. No, because I'm not, like, on this trip. But there was a time, like, fairly recently. They're trying to figure out a time they were talking about me, and I'm going to just cut that out for now. I'll try to get a video of our dinner in a second, but anyway. That's Aaron. What? So this is our meal. Look at those salads. I mean, I Jenna whipped together some salads for us. Got I made I made my own dressing for the first time. Yeah. Got some kebabs, potatoes, asparagus, asparagus wine, wine. <laughs> the hockey <laughs> on. So we're ready to eat. Super so, excited. John's not here yet. He's upstairs. The fingerling potatoes, right? So let's get to it. Here we are. It's Wednesday, day three, full day of our trip in Seattle. I'm gonna check you out the morning. Check out the morning here. The sun is out. It's gorgeous on our roof. It's a little snowy on the ground. That's all right. It's uh, high 20s. <sighs> Maybe you can see my breath a little bit. But it is actually really not that cold out with the sun and everything. It doesn't feel very cold at all. Obviously, super nice. I don't know who that was complaining about Seattle. Oh, it's gonna be gross. It's gonna be rainy, cloudy, overcast the whole time. I don't know why you want to go. Every time I've come to this city, it's given me sun for at least some period of time. This is the second day where we've had a lot of it, so can't complain about that. We continue to enjoy our trip. We might see the Space Needle today. I'm not sure. We're gonna wrap up some of the other touristy things that we want to do. Tomorrow's gonna to be our hockey day where we go and see the Kraken's practice facility, do some skating there. Unfortunately, probably with rental skates because someone stole our skates. Um, gonna to go to the restaurant there, I think, pro shop, do all that stuff tomorrow. But today, it's still Explore Seattle. That's Mount Rainier in the distance. What's this? And this is, I believe, Lake Union, if I have that right. 
I don't know if I have that right, so I'm gonna look it up while I'm recording. Lake Washington is what this is. Isn't there a Lake Union somewhere around here? Is that a different part of uh, Lake Union's more in the middle of the city, okay? Clarification, this is Lake Washington. I'm learning my geography as we go here. But really beautiful sunny day. View of Mount Rainier in the background because it's gorgeous out, because why not, right? And we're doing some traveling outside the city. So. It's always sunny in Seattle. Always sunny in Seattle, is that what they say? Um, yeah. At least when we're here it is. So we just stopped to get jerky at when I say the smallest little, that's it right there, smallest little store in the middle of nowhere, it feels like. So in the and, basement of the house. And Roslyn, Roslyn, Washington? Pretty sure it was connected. Yeah, that would make sense, yeah. It looks like it. Whereas, I mean, it smells really good and it wasn't very expensive. We paid, paid $21 for these three bags of meat here too. Let me see. Can I just eat this straight up? Yeah, that's sure. how you're supposed to. <laughs> I'll try like a bite of it. How is it? That is better than any jack links I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I would hope so. It is tender. Back of Slim Jam. Alright, I gotta try it then. Welcome to Flavor Welcome to Flavor Town. Oh wow. That's isn't, lovely. Isn't that so good? You wanna bite? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're just chomping it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So we drove about an hour and a half. Went through the mountains. We found ourselves in a very small little town. And small little went to this local little meat market. So thing. it's actually a city. Okay, sure. So this is a city with a population of nine hundred what? Twelve. I've seen, I've seen towns of Vermont with more people than this, more going on. Oh my god. So this stuff is good. But the meat, really good. What Here. is this? The garlic honey. Fish John, off. this is the one that you wanted. Here, I'll give this to you for now if you want. So this is the teriyaki. And I got a piece in here I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna bite right into it, oh, see how that goes. Mmm. Uh, it's hard to explain. Is little Mama Louise gonna like this? I know, you tell me. She likes it. <laughs> this is downtown Roslyn, the coal mining town founded in 1896. And it has, it has just a tiny little town center. This is where we got our jerky just a minute ago. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get a bite to eat. At Logan's. Logan's casual dining might be our lunch spot. And uh, yeah, just kind of exploring the town. It's actually very nice, sunny. It feels cool, but with this a light jacket on, no wind at all, it's very nice out. Ooh, we got burgers, steak dips, sandwiches, Rubens. Look at that. At Logan's, what's it? Classic? Casual. Casual. Logan's Casual Dining. Logan's hey, Casual Dining in Roslyn, Washington. Roslyn. And I'm ready to dive into that for sure. For sure. So we are now in the downtown Seattle center and guess where we are. I said that already, but guess what's in our rear view here? Is this space needle, this yes? Space. So we're gonna <laughs> we definitely got that on video. <laughs> we're gonna check this out and uh, see if we can't catch the very tail end of the sunset from a better vantage point, but we'll see. Look at that, we found our spot, I know. We didn't quite get the sunset, but it's pretty close. Here, come. Come. Just a little video. Look at that. 
So this is this is it. The brand new fireplace oh, arena down there. Last time I was here, it wasn't completed right here. <laughs> and then in the distance, kind of see the Ferris wheel, which is where we were yesterday. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Got the whole Puget Sound there. Super Let me see cool. if I can make myself a new wallpaper. Jenna, are you gonna sit on the bench? The glass bench with the glass window behind you? You gotta go put your back against it if you're Ooh. really gonna do it. Oh. Okay, you ready? Here, I'll do it with you. Come on, come here. Not together. Come on. It's too much. Jenna, just go soft. Oh my God. Here, look, come on. Back <laughs> John, how'd you do that so easy? Oh, are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little freaky for sure. Get me up, please. <laughs> <gasps> Stop! Oh, my back is like really tingly. <laughs> my back is tingly. <laughs> it's a new day. It's Thursday. It's game day. And we're at the Kraken Community Iceplex. We're here to do a little public skating. Check out what's going on at the brand new practice facility. Eat some lunch. Talking to me, I got my vac. I always got my vax guard. We are here inside the North Great Northgate practice facility. We were just to told that the Bruins were just here, and we missed them again because. We just have been chasing these guys around the city, not intentionally, but <laughs> we're always we're, like five minutes behind them. <laughs> we're about to get on the ice ourselves here and check it out and see how it goes. It's the rink. It's one of two sheets of ice, actually. They have two. This is the one we're doing today, though. And we got our rental skates on because, you know, our skates were stolen. So we're going to see how these are, see if they're not trash. Sometimes well, rental skates are the worst thing you could wear. I've definitely worn worse rental skates than this. So, I mean, they're not super sharp, but I can skate with them. So I guess that's what matters. McAvoy, he's my favorite player. me act up. Yeah, I'll take John down right now. Yeah, we'll see about that. I got some cracking gear. Did you get some cracking gear, Jenna? I did. My father got some cracking gear. I did, I did. Look at that, you got a little cracking bag. We got, we got a cracking beanie. Yeah. Jenna's cracking haul. John got, got Uncle, uh, Uncle. What is it? You'll get to see that on the podcast steez. or something probably. So steez. So steez. Love that. Now we're going towards the 32 restaurant, which I think we're going to eat at. So. Yeah, I think that's where we go. There's a little stick and full oh, men's league or something going on out there right now. This is their inaugural night. Oh yeah. This is pretty nice. That's sick, huh? This is their inaugural so you night. They see. were selling a poster of it for 35 bucks. That's sick. Imagine being in there. Being in that photo on out. yeah, I know. Oh, wow. You were at that game and you're like right there. Yeah. That's like the back of my head maybe. Yeah. Except you know it's not my head. You know, someone said for sure. Wild man, that's history for you. Sick. All right, we need to check this out. Oh. Sure. No. Oh, 
no right, beer. So I'm going to get an actual shot. This is the uh, That is the actual arena where the We low key just bumped into the into the president and CEO. Yeah, so as we were as we were being seated at the table, we did run into Todd Lightwicky, who's the seat president CEO, I think is his title of the Kraken, who actually stopped and talked to us, saw the Bruins jerseys and wanted to interact with us, you know, just to see the fan. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, we're not that small of a deal. But no, I think he saw fans <laughs> from out of state and was like, oh, cool, I'm going to interact with them. They probably have no clue who we are, and I knew who they were, but either way, or who he was. So this is the actual ice, which is cool. We're in the 32 Barn Grill, which you saw a second ago, I was walking up, and uh, got some drinks, espresso martini. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And uh, we're going to eat the meal. And this is where all, that's where their offices, executive offices and whatnot are. Kitchen for the players and whatnot. All that's the whole facility stuff down there. Because there's three sheets. This is one. There's a middle one over there. And then we skated on the third one a minute ago for the public skating. But this is the one with the crack and actually play. Pretty cool. It's got some actual bleachers. Feels like almost an NHL ring. So anyway, time for food. What do we got here? We went to Mighty O Donuts. Mighty O Donuts, right half, around the corner. We got half a dozen, and I got this cute little sticker. You want to do the little reveal for us? Yes. You get that open. So, we just came so John picked two, Jeremy picked two, and I picked two. We just came back from the Kraken's practice facility from our lunch. Figured we got to okay, get in here now. Yeah, let's do that, baby. Oh, dun, 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 dun. So this, that is chocolate frosted. Chocolate topped, yeah. Okay, That's jam. raspberry Jeremy, chocolate. Thank you for the jam. This is chocolate some. frosted sprinkles. Trader Joe's waffle. We're trying to make our waffles to use up the syrup with. That's them. glorious. Cinnamon sugar. Um, that's banana bread. Mm -hmm. This one is just the good old glazed. Oh, we are about to dig in. Maybe not all right now, but I'm definitely gonna taste a couple of these. I'm gonna cut it in a, in a quarters. Good, and he's so accepting. Yes, we love it. He's so sweet. All right, so, so I'm, what we have to do, accepting. what we have to do is cut each of these into quarters. Really? So we can each have pieces of them. Yeah, I'm gonna try mine right now. I'm, I have no I mean, I That's yummy. Do that, button. Jenna, yeah. these mm. guys are very occupied. You cut That's really freaking good. Please. Good. No, All right, well, we'll dig into these. Watch. Next stop is the game. This is our last day here in Seattle. It's our travel day. We're getting ready out of the Airbnb. Have to experience this rooftop one more time though. Man, it's actually really nice out. It's like 40s, maybe in 50s. As sunny as it possibly could be. And when I say that, I mean like not a cloud in the sky, though I do hear <laughs> there's going to be a significant amount of rain in the forecast. I actually should figure that out right now. Yeah, so we've been here. <laughs> it's been sunny this whole time. And this is the forecast. Rain. Saturday through next Thursday. And we've had multiple sunny days while we've been here, so... Maybe just perfect timing on our part. You know, says something about the trip. Obviously, it didn't start out the best way it could have. Still working through what happens with our baggage, but it's been a really nice time overall. So, we'll definitely be back. More things to do 
and uh, people are a little dramatic about the weather, I think. That's my two cents. camera a little bit. Just some random label in between Seattle and Tacoma. Oh my god, it's over on there. So we're officially in SeaTac, ready to leave, go back to Boston. This marks the end of our trip. You kind of see the mountains in the background over there. But anyway, Jenna, overall thoughts, how was the trip? Very fun. Good time. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be back for sure. Yeah, we have plenty more to do. But uh, this is all for now, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.